Welcome everyone to episode 501 of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular swole cast in the realm, because when I flex, you flex. Yep, they're still here. We all flex our biceps. Thank you so much for joining me every day at 12 noon Eastern time right here on Facebook. And you can catch all the episodes on YouTube and listen to the Swole Cast on SoundCloud and iTunes. We are here and we are ready to drink our coffee. Welcome fam, here we go. Got my Swole Normous mug, yeah, look at that. The only way you can drink coffee appropriately to make sick fucking gains. Oh. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Ah, well, that tastes better than I anticipated. So good, today is to get off your ass. Get off your flat ass and the reason why your ass is flat. So there's a couple big things going on for this week. A couple big things going on for this week. And yes, the board is back. This board is angled. I don't like the angle of the board. I don't like the angle action. It's a port board It's a port board so I can make my gains on the road. This week is huge. Now it's a Tuesday, but this week is massive because it is the week of the glutes, the week of the glutes. Let me lower this a little bit so we can get a little bit more, you know, intimate. So now's a great time to share the broadcast. Don't be a bitch, share the broadcast. That's right, I said it, I said it. You guys are slacking on that end and you know it. This needs to be heard. This needs to be heard, especially whenever I talk about the glutes, it needs to be heard, it needs to get out there. And the only way it gets out there, because Mark Zuckerberg doesn't like live broadcasting anymore, we have to share and we have to tag and we have to spread the word because this is what's going to keep your friends, your family, your loved ones, your friends, your daughters, your husbands, your wives, your parents from having back pain, from having knee pain, from having chronic issues. And let's talk about that. This week in the workshop, this week in the premium workshop, it is the hips don't lie. And I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. So in my premium group, doing a whole hour long workshop, when I'm going to demonstrate all the mobility moves, the most important mobility moves, the most important release techniques, the most important stretches to improve your hips. Now let's talk about why the hips are important. And I've touched upon this in other episodes. So in case you've watched other episodes, you're gonna have a little bit more of a framework. So if you have someone's body, we can see that okay? Ah, cool, all right? So they have a body, they have legs. The hips are right here. This is where it's gonna be the most important. Now the reason why the hips are the most important is because it's in the center. So as you can see, everything above the hips and below the hips is going to be affected because it's right in the center. It's the base of the core. So the hips being the base of the core, it means that they are the foundation the starting point where everything's gonna branch off. So if we're talking about, oops, if we're talking about the center, let's get it a little bit more blown up. Let's do a big head, let's do here, let's go here, and let's draw some knees. You can see at the bottom, all right, you can see the knees, and you can see the feet. So here it looks like, certain, like we've got a cowboy here, okay? So the hips are right here. The hips are right here, the hips are right in the middle. So if you have issues, If you have issues at the shoulder, if you have issues in the middle or the lower back, if you have issues in the knees, and even if you have issues at the ankle, it can all be related. It can all be related. I really wanna reiterate this. This can all be related to the hips right here. This could be the first time you're hearing this. This might be the first time that you're hearing any of this. So I understand if it sounds weird. I understand if it sounds like, how is that possible? How is it possible for everything to be coming from the hips? Well, it doesn't mean that everything is coming from the hips, but let's think about what we do as a people, what we do uh, in society that makes this true. That makes this true. It makes this very likely true for you. And that reason is because of sitting down. It's the reason for cars. 
is the reason because of sitting down on the couch, sitting down at the table for dinner, sitting down at work. It's the chairs. It's the chairs. Now, some of you might have standing desks. Some of you might have, you know, quote, upgraded to that. But if you're still standing in one place all the time, the hips are going to get very locked up too. So I want to kind of get away from that myth that just because you're standing, all of a sudden your hips are fine. The, there's a whole trend for standing desks. And I do that a lot too. I have, you know, I elevate my things I'm standing. And that allows you to be more vertical, allows for the hips to be less out of alignment. Uh, and I'll explain why they get out of alignment, but at the same time, you're still not moving. So it's that lack of movement. It really comes down to the lack of movement. So why is this a problem? So we're gonna have lack of movement. That's one of the problems. So you have lack of movement. You're also gonna have what we call hip flexion. And that's because of when you're sitting down in chairs, okay? Lack of movement, hip flexion. So we have weak glutes. Your ass is weak. Whether you have a big ass or not, you have a big pillow on your butt. You don't have a strong ass, you have a big ass. It's what we call, in the scientific community, a fat ass. You have a fat ass. You don't have a strong ass, you have a fat ass. Sorry to burst your bubble, but your ass is fat, and not the good kind of fat. So it's like a nice, big, fluffy cushion for you to sit on. Big does not mean strong. Big does not mean strong. You have too much hip flexion, your glutes are weak, they're not activating properly, so they're not activating. The glutes are, so glutes, Deactivated, big words, don't worry about it, I'll explain. All right, so we're getting a lot of, we have a lot of inhibition. We're not choosing to do that. I know I'm saying big words, but we're gonna talk about it. I mean, this is the theme for this week, and like I said, doing a workshop on Thursday, so this is all gonna be more explained and there's gonna be context behind it. Uh, and you're going to have the core is, I'm gonna say the core is wrong. That doesn't even make sense really. The core is bad, the core is wrong to start. So let's look at this from a different perspective. So take a mental screenshot of this. Take a, a, a mental screenshot of this. Problem with shoulders. Oh, even problems at the neck. I can't help brain problems. If you're mentally, if you have mental issues, this doesn't help, so sorry about that. Neck, shoulder, upper back, lower back, knees, ankles, okay. So having an imbalance at the hips, and there's a reason why the workshop on Thursday is called The Hips Don't Lie. Shakira was right, the hips don't lie. The hips will tell you everything. The hips will also pass along information, good or bad, to other areas of the body. So it's like that game Jenga, okay? So you'll have a pendulum, right? So let's say you have a string and you hang a ball down. It's going to, right? It's gonna swing this way and this way, but it's generally just gonna hang straight down because then you have a center of gravity and the body aligns itself with the center of gravity. So let's say a person is gonna be looking that direction. So I'll draw a person looking that direction. So if you have someone looking that way, so I'll put the nose here, and the eyes here is gonna look like a chicken, okay? So the person's looking this direction. You have the shoulders, right? Then you have, I'll put here, I'll put the hips, and I'll put the knees, and I'll put the feet, okay? You have an alignment. You have an alignment. So that same pendulum that I drew over here, That same pendulum, your body wants to keep this straight line, okay? Your body wants to keep this straight line. Now, when you are sitting down too much, when you're sitting down too much, you create an imbalance. It's called an imbalance because your body is no longer balanced. What you end up doing is you tighten up muscles on the front too much because they're shortened because you're sitting, because your knees are, your hips are bent and your knees are bent. So you tighten up muscles too much on one side and you weaken the muscles on the other side. 
It's just an effect. When you shorten up certain muscles, the body shuts down muscles on the other side. So then you have an imbalance of power, right? You have muscles that are working at different strengths. So instead of having this nice straight line, your body doesn't really look like that, like a straight line, but let's say assuming this is what we want, okay? You have natural curves and stuff, but let's assume this is good, okay? You end up having this. You end up having hips. See that triangle? You end up having hips that are more like that. So then your back starts coming off like this. So then you have to bend your back like that. And then in order for this to balance out, your neck has to bend and extend because your eyes will always stay level on the horizon. Okay, you see how things will start to get out of alignment and then since this is like here, your hips are pointing forward, you'll have this kind of coming forward like that for your knees. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just fine. It's, it doesn't really look like, your knees aren't bent like that, but this is what happens. This is essentially what happens because of this here. So it's like the game Jenga. And I know a lot of you know, if you don't know the game Jenga, you ever see those games at the bars where you have those big bricks and people pull out a brick and you don't want the whole tower to fall, right? You've seen those, right? Like, it's like a big Jenga. You take the big wood bricks out and then, oh, there's a little balance. You have to take out another brick without the whole thing falling. And then you have to slowly bring out another brick and then whoever, whatever team, like it falls, you lose. Oh, it's like a drinking game, right? At the bars where they do like the life-size ones. And that's what happens. So if you, if you change this, and I'll erase all this stuff, if you change what's going on right there, everything else has to change. That's my point. If you bring this up, oh, I can't get that. If you bring this straight, it'll be aligned. You bend this forward and all of a sudden everything has to, because the body wants to stay like this. The body wants to stay straight. So when you tilt that piece, when you tilt the hips forward, everything's going to align itself so it still maintains this overall. Does that make sense? Float some hearts if that makes sense, okay? Your body wants to maintain that straight line. That being the case, that being the case, this is not the only thing that could be causing problems for this but it's a major one because we're sitting down so often and the hips get very, very tight. And this is why we say the hips don't lie because when the hips are out of alignment, these muscles on the front get too tight and stiff and brittle. And these muscles here get too weak. And then we have to turn them back on. So it's not so much, oh yeah, you know, my glutes are weak. I gotta go to the gym and do squats. I gotta do some more lunges. I could do the glute machine. I hate to break it to you, but that's not gonna help you. For real, that's not gonna help. So if you see this, like, man, that's me. I gotta start working my butt more. I gotta go to the gym and do more squats. That's not gonna help you. The reason that's not going to help you, and I'll talk more about this tomorrow. The reason that won't help you is because the muscles are deactivated. And when the muscles are deactivated, it's not simple enough for you just to go and do squats because when you're doing your squats, you're not hitting these muscles enough. You need to actually go into this whole system here and target and release these things and actually focus on directly activating these things. That is the only way you're gonna balance that out. Going to the gym and just doing more squats I'm sorry, fam, it's not gonna make it better. You're actually, by doing more squats, you're gonna put more pressure on your back, you're gonna put more pressure on your hamstrings, and you're gonna still have the same problems, okay? So when you have this problem, you cannot just go and smash squats. You have to create that balance, you have to fix the balance, and tomorrow I'm going to explain more about why just doing squats won't work your ass. So that's gonna be probably the title or something similar to that tomorrow. So remember, 
if this is fascinating to you, not only if this is the first time you're hearing this, if this sounds like you, if you're the type of person that goes to the gym and does squats and you don't feel in your butt, you do lunges but you don't feel in your ass, you never feel like you're strengthening your butt, you never feel sore in your actual glute muscles, you need to pay close attention because this Thursday at 8 p.m., I'm doing my workshop in my premium group and it's titled The Hips Don't Lie. That's 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's live. You can watch it later if you can watch it live, but you can only watch it if you're a part of my premium group. So the link is in the post description, premium.swolnormous.com. That's premium.swolnormous.com. We'll give you more information. You can always message me if you have any questions, but sign up today. You can catch up on all the previous movement assessments, corrective exercise and core training workshops and get your, uh, get your taste buds a little bit percolating for this workshop because we did a foam rolling workshop last week. So you have all that information at your fingertips, but this Thursday at 8 p.m. is the Hips Don't Lie workshop. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So we'll be talking more about this tomorrow, the reason why this does not work with squats. Why you can't just go to the gym and do squats and make it all better. It's just not that simple because you have this existing problem, so you can't just go and snap your fingers and fix it, right? You can't just snap your fingers and fix it. And thank you so much everyone, all premium peeps, for the love below. Um, I got a couple phone calls to make right after this with my premium group. So. Stay tuned tomorrow, episode 502, gonna be getting into this real deep. You know how we go on the Daily Swole, fucking balls deep, right to the taint, and we're going super deep tomorrow. So be ready for that. And if you have not signed up for premium, 8 p.m. Eastern time, just do it today because you have so much content to catch up with, and um, it's really gonna help your uh, base intellect for the workshop on Thursday if you understand where this is all coming from. Uh, so especially if this is new to you and you never heard any of this before, you need to pay attention this entire week. It's going to be fire. So thank you so much for joining me for episode 501, the most muscular swole cast in the realm because you have to do it too. When I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for joining me every day live at 12 noon Eastern time. Catch me also on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Swolenormous if you're not already. IG, Instagram, at Swolenormous, YouTube, Swolenormous, and also all these episodes are online, SoundCloud, and iTunes for the podcast. I want to give a great big shout out. Thanks to our sponsors, Left Bicep and Right Bicep. Thank you for being there every day supporting the Daily Swole. Thank you for your sponsorship. Really appreciate it. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's right. My show is sponsored by my own fucking guns. Ooh, ooh. I'm fucking amped. I'm amped. Hell yeah, caffeine. Hell yeah, baby. Everyone take a sip. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. I can't wait to see everyone in uh, premium on Thursday. So if you're not signed up, sign up. Do it now. Don't wait. Awesome information tomorrow. I'm going to lay some more neural smackdowns right on your face. Well, knowledge nukes coming and blowing everywhere. Peace, McGee's. Deuce, McGoose. See y'all tomorrow. Later.